Hey guys, thanks for dropping in for another Diecast and Diecast review. Throwing it back to 2021, uh, this is Kurt Busch's Gear Wrench 2021 Atlanta winner. Uh, we're going to Atlanta this weekend. I didn't have any new stuff coming down the pipeline, so I thought, what the heck, we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll find something from Atlanta. So I had an Atlanta win, uh, Kurt Busch's last win in the Gen 6 car. Uh, this was the only Atlanta winner I had, so... Um, taking a look at the box, we got 2021, uh, race win box. It's not team specific, driver specific or anything like that. So just says 2021 race winner. We got Kurt Busch, number one gear wrench, Atlanta win, 2021 Camaro ZL1, one of 876. So quite a few of these made. Um, the car's pretty cool. I like this gear wrench scheme. Um, I like uh, liked it when Kurt was running the gear wrench car. I like the gear wrench schemes that Kevin Harvick's had so far. Um, just kind of a cool. I'm I'm kind of a black, orange, white type of. You know, I like I like those paint schemes. Um, so I I like how everything flows here. So anyway, um, the uh, race one version we got uh, some dirt and grime and and stuff on the fenders and that. Not really any tire rubs or any damage per se. Um, kind of a pretty straightforward race. Uh, but uh, Kurt started uh, eighth, ended up winning the race. Kyle got second. Um, one cool thing is this uh, green and gold confetti. This is a Quaker State race, uh, Quaker State 400. And uh, so the confetti is green and gold for Quaker State colors, which is cool. Um, but uh, we got gear wrench, uh, big gear wrench logo on the hood. Um, we just got a number one in Ganassi uh, racing here on the left side of the nose. Um, Sunoco is the only contingency sponsor we got on the nose there. And then we got uh, yellow Goodyear over the front wheel wells. Uh, pretty simple. We got Cup Series and the race, NASCAR race car logo on the A pillar. Uh, we got uh, Ato Sintel, Siemens, Sharon Williams, and Lincoln Welders, uh, which would be Ganassi sponsors there. We got Kurt Busch real small on the name rail, along with Gear Wrench and Clover on the B pillar. Nothing on the C pillar as far as sponsorship. Uh, we got Gear Wrench on the left rear quarter panel, uh, along with the ethanol ring. That's it. Um, pretty simple. As far as decals, there's not really a lot. Just just a lot going on with like the graphics and all that. Uh, big Gear Wrench logo and Gear Wrench along with number one Camaro ZL1, 1LE on the uh, tailpiece there. Nothing on the deck lid. We got DIN number 151, Kurt Busch on the back window. Uh, big white number one with Gear Wrench at the back of the roof. Roof flaps do deploy. And then down the right side, a lot of the same. Basically just confetti, uh, body fasteners, that type of stuff on this car. There's not really a lot as far as damage, like I said before. The right side window does look a little bit different than a standard die cast. Um, it's got the depiction of the uh, rails that the right side window slides into and then they clip in at the back. Um, but uh, other than some tear-offs, uh, you can see the tear-off tabs up on the right side of the front window. Um the windshield and uh, Kurt Busch at the top of the windshield and then confetti on the uh, front and back window, obviously. Um, nothing too crazy with this race win. This is a good looking car though. I really like it. Um, if I can get the hood open here. Not one. Haven't had one ever open that, that tough. We just got a Chevy logo and that's it. So, um, but uh, all in all, good looking car. It is an ARC, so just standard underbody detail. Uh, we do have the uh, ground tires. Um, he didn't uh, tear any tires up, but uh, they are like the raced version tires that uh, Lionel does. But that's about it. Uh, tall spoiler with the clear at the top. And we do have the Richardson logo there uh, on the spoiler, which is kind of cool. But other than that, just a cool one to have in my collection. The tires, uh, we do have... Uh, some rub marks and things on some tires, uh, along with the uh, wheel markings and the, the team logos and decals and stuff on them. I did miss that earlier. So anyway, that's all I got on this one, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.